There have been about a billion cucumber cocktails on this channel, called Dr. Cork, if you don't know. So, at a quick glance, I remember Green Beast with Absinthe, a Cucumber Vodka Cooler, a Jägermeister with Cucumber and Sprite, and many, many others. And almost always these cocktails were popular with everyone who tried them, because cucumber makes everything just better. Even a trivial gin and tonic with cucumber is a great thing. So I've decided to dedicate today's episode to cucumber cocktails. About the history of who invented the cucumber, I will not tell you, it's classified, and only two people in the world know the original recipe of the cucumber. So let's go straight to the cocktails, as soon as you hit like, of course. Let's start with Cucumber Collins, a refreshing summer cocktail made with gin or vodka, fresh cucumber and lime. And it is very simple to make. But the first thing we're gonna do is make some cucumber juice. It's very easy, just take a blender and a couple of cucumbers, blend them into mush and strain through a fine strainer. And here we have about 150 or 200 milliliters of cucumber juice. Now to the cocktail. It is shaken and to the shaker we're gonna add our cucumber juice, half an ounce, 15 ml. A lime half, quartered, simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar, one ounce, 30 ml. Muddle a little bit to release the juices from lime. Now a gin, or you could use vodka, or something uh, like a cucumber infused gin or vodka, one and a half ounce, 45 ml. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fill the highball glass with ice. Fine strain the cocktail and top up with soda, about 3 ounces, 90 ml. Stir a little more and garnish with a cucumber ribbon. Now let's try it. Mm, it is crisp, light, perfectly balanced summer cocktail that's cool and easy to drink, and it is perfect for warm weather gatherings. But if you want something completely alcohol-free, let me make you a cucumber ginger fizz. It's a variation on the classic gin fizz that uses the ginger heat to make up for the lack of gin. It is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add our cucumber juice, about two-thirds of an ounce, 20 ml. You can just muddle a couple of cucumber slices instead. Fresh ginger, great, about half an inch or one to two centimeters. Lemon or lime juice, one ounce, 30 ml. And honey syrup, I have a whole video about how to make it and cocktails with it, check it out. One ounce, 30 ml. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the chilled wine glass and top up with ginger ale or ginger beer, about 3 ounces, 90 ml. Stir a little and garnish with a couple of cucumber slices. Mm. I feel the ginger heat, uh, it's enhanced by the ginger ale topper. You could use uh, ginger beer, but it could be too gingery, too hot. In spite of the glass, it's a pretty serious drink. A perfect blend of sweet, spicy and tangy, and if I didn't know, I couldn't tell that uh, it doesn't have any alcohol in it, because it's like pronounced. I like it. But now let's make me something more sophisticated, like the pot of gold. There are several cocktails with this name, most of which were understandably invented for St. Patrick's Day, but not this one. It's vodka based, not whiskey based, and it's not fucking green. This cocktail is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add a handful of fresh mint leaves, about eight, cucumber juice, two-thirds of an ounce, 20 ml, or a couple of thick cucumber slices, vodka, two ounces, 60 ml, elderflower liqueur, half an ounce, 15 ml, muddle the mint. Now fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the cocktail glass and top up with ginger beer, not ginger ale. About one ounce, 30 ml. Stir a little and garnish with a cucumber ribbon. And if you feel adventurous, spray a little bit of absinthe on top. Now let's try it. It's a pretty unusual tasting cocktail. 
It's herbal floral. Uh, it's not sweet. It's not uh, sour. It has no lime or lemon juice, but it's balanced and it's. Uh, I'd say it's pretty sophisticated. Not for everyone, but if you like floral and herbal notes, this one is definitely for you. Cucumber pairs very well with such tastes, and maybe uh, I could use gin instead of vodka. It would be even more herbal. Cheers. Before we continue, here's something you can skip. Become a patron or join YouTube membership. That way you can support my not very popular channel. And also all the recipes are on my website, dr-cork.com. All the links are down below and in the pinned comment. Thanks a lot. Okay, I've made a gin cocktail, I've made a vodka cocktail, I've made a nothing cocktail, and now tequila and rum are left, so let's make something with rum. The cocktail is called Venceremos, means we shall overcome. A very unusual twist on the piña colada without the cream of coconut, but with cucumber and sesame oil. The cocktail was invented by Ji Chen, a bartender of Taiwanese origin, who won the Bacardi Legacy 2016 competition with this cocktail. This cocktail is shaken, and to the shaker we're gonna add white rum, three quarter ounce, 45 ml, coconut liqueur or coconut rum if you prefer that term, half an ounce, 15 ml, cucumber juice, half an ounce, 15 ml, pineapple juice, one ounce, 30 ml, and juice of one half of a lime, about half an ounce, 15 ml, and sesame oil. Two drops exactly, otherwise it will overpower everything. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this. Come in. Put a big ice sphere to the old-fashioned glass and fine strain the cocktail. And garnish with a couple of cucumber slices. Time to try it. Very unusual. It's on the sour side, not too sweet. The coconut is there. The sesame is definitely there in the smell and in the taste. And I guess this cocktail is not for everyone because it's not what you usually associate with cucumber cocktails, like fresh and light and uh, maybe sparkling. Nonetheless, it's a very interesting cocktail. I like it. It's savory thanks to the sesame oil. If I had to choose between this one and the last cocktail, I'd choose this one. That's all, folks. Do see those.